Hey guys, welcome back to AdLib Talk, and this is my review for Apple TV's new series, The Essex Serpent, releasing its first two episodes today on Apple TV Plus. The Essex Serpent is based on the book of the same name, written by Sarah Perry. The series is written by Anna Simon, directed by Cleo Barnard, and has an impressive cast, including Claire Danes, Tom Hiddleston, and Frank Delane. But before we start with the nitty gritty of this review, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoy it and please do consider subscribing. So the Essex Serpent is an excellent exploration of a number of themes, including grief, uh, loss, fate versus science. We get into even socialist politics and so much more. You might be thinking that a series with just six episodes might be pulled a little too thin in an attempt to touch onto so many different elements. But somehow, at least up to episode two, Anna Simon's writing has been pretty good so far and has ensured that the series has not lost out in its clarity of tone. But let's start off from the beginning. So the Essex Serpent is set in Victorian era England and mainly follows Cora Seaburn, a widow who lives in London and who happens to be a naturalist. With the debt of her abusive husband, she is now free to pursue whatever interests her and upon finding out about rumors of the sighting of a sea serpent in Essex, she decides to pack up her bags and go there to see if she could confirm the theory that some animals had managed to escape evolution. In Essex, she meets and befriends vicar Will Ransom together with his family. At the same time, we've got Dr. Luke Garrett, who's put his eyes also firmly on Cora. Uh, the doctor is attempting to perform open heart surgeries, which at this time were almost unthinkable, and his confidence in his abilities kind of seems to signify that there will be some kind of fall in the near future. I guess we'll have to wait and see in the coming episodes. The Essex Serpent has a fascinating juxtaposition. The series is split up between characters from London and characters from Essex, the educated London-based Cora, for example, whose disregard for tradition makes her an excellent contrast with the uneducated villagers of Essex, who in their unfortunate ignorance blame tragedy on the devil. It is this big difference in beliefs and way of life that leads to the villagers to become extremely suspicious of Cora, who in her attempts to discover whether the serpent actually does exist or not leads to some unpleasant situations, one particular taking place in a classroom which was incredible to watch. This is where Vicar Will Ransom comes into play, at least up to episode two. He seems to admire Cora and if I had to be honest, I could kind of sense a touch of sexual tension developing between the two. I really do hope that the series, however, does not devolve into a love triangle, but with the quality of writing so far, I seriously doubt that. As you can tell from my description so far, the series writing is excellent, but I must also say it's not perfect. There is one subplot which deviated slightly from the main plot, and focusing on Garrett's assistants, Dr. George Spencer and Cora's servant, Martha, who, in attempts to help their patient end up in uh, discussions about socialism and Karl Marx, I just felt that this subplot deviated a little too much from the rest of the plot and made it all feel a little too scattered. Tighter writing would help avoid this feeling and ensure the pacing of the series would not be too bogged down. At the same time, I understand the attempts to develop these two characters. Now, these great characters are really well written, however, and this, of course, helps our excellent cast. Everyone does a pretty good job, but so far I have been very impressed by both Hiddleston and Delane, who give excellent portrayals together with Claire Danes, whose performance vastly improves in episode two, in my opinion, as she was given better material to work with. I must say also that Hiddleston and Danes 
particularly have very good chemistry together and I am very much looking forward to see how their relationship will develop will they remain friends will something more happen here their debates have been some of the more interesting parts also of the first two episodes visually this is a great series the set pieces are beautiful filming mostly took place on location with towns around Essex serving as sets providing a hauntingly beautiful backdrop to the action together with shots of London. The cinematography is excellent, portraying both the setting beautifully whilst also giving us interesting hints of the sexual tension developing between Danes and Hiddleston's characters. Props to cinematographer David Radeker. It's all very moody and dark, but thankfully director Cleo Bernard avoids it becoming too depressing with hints of hope here and there and it's in these moments that you will also notice the color tone will drastically change as well as everything brightening up overall the essex serpent has been a pleasant surprise i do really enjoy period pieces i even enjoyed bridgerton of which this has pretty much nothing in common however what the essex serpent has is some pretty decent writing a great set of characters Great cinematography, portraying everything really well, coupled with a beautifully moody soundtrack, which truly complements this series' tone well. It also touches onto some interesting themes, which I hope the series will continue to explore and develop, whilst also avoiding that risk of becoming too scattered by the end. I guess we'll find out if they manage to do so in a few weeks' time, in the meantime, my rating for the Essex Serpent's first two episodes is a very strong four out of five. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a like on this video and please do consider subscribing. Cheers, and I'll see you guys next time right here on AdLib Talk.